Thank you, everyone. I am Dame Eleanor of Leicestershire, and I've come from Dragon's Lair to take this wonderful lady as my apprentice today, being witnessed by their excellencies and all of the populace here. I don't know, some of you may not know me, but I started in Aquaterra many years ago. This used to be my home. I've been living in Dragon's Lair for the last nine years. Uh, but I'd love to come back here, and I still consider it my home. I met this fine lady a couple of years ago at Banner War, I believe it was. We had a wonderful time. I have been nothing but impressed by her leadership qualities, her tremendous skill, her love of the SCA, her willingness to work hard and to get people involved. And uh, she has done some weaving, which has been tremendously uh, impressive to me. I've been very impressed by her skills and her dedication. And I think this woman has huge potential for the SCA, for your barony, and is my apprentice. And I'm very honored to make her my apprentice today. And thank you all for witnessing this. I really appreciate it very much. The investor or the uh, indenture is a period, uh, an Elizabethan period indenture, so it is a little bit long and it's very wordy. And I apologize for that, but that's just the nature of the beast. So I appreciate you bearing with us for that. That's your wish. This indenture witnesseth that Emma of Compton, of the Barony of Aquaterra, Weaver, has put herself apprentice to Eleanor of Leicestershire, seamstress and weaver of the Barony of Dragon's Lair to learn her art and to dwell with her and serve her after the manner of an apprentice. From this present good Yule, on the feast day of St. Cassian of Algiers, in the first year of the reign of King Kjartan Dagerson and Queen Shea Kjartanskona, until she shall be released by the word of the said Eleanor, or through attaining mastery of her craft. During which term, the said Emma of Compton, the said Eleanor as her lady and mistress, in all things lawful and honest, well and faithfully, courteously and diligently to her power everywhere shall serve. Her secrets keep and her lawful and honest commandments everywhere gladly do. She shall not do damage to her said mistress with the said term, nor see to be done by others to the value of 12 pence or more per annum. <laughs> but to her power shall impede the same, or forthwith give warning thereof to her mistress. She shall not waste inordinately the goods of her said mistress, nor lend them to anyone without her order or special commandment. She shall not commit fornication or adultery in the house of her said mistress or the <laughs> during the said term, nor play any unlawful or unseemly games whereby her said mistress may have any loss. <laughs> she shall not customarily frequent a tavern, uh -oh. save to do there the business of her said mistress, nor shall she contract matrimony with any man during the said term. How about women? Save with the assent, <laughs> will, and consent of the said Eleanor of Leicestershire, citizen and seamstress of Dragon's Lair, mistress of the same apprentice. <clears throat> she shall not withdraw unlawfully from the service of her said mistress, save by reason of such matrimony as is aforesaid during the said term nor absent herself by day or by night. Dispensation. <laughs> With her own money or other, during the said term, she shall not buy or sell without the license and will of her said mistress, nor knowingly keep any secret that may be to the loss or prejudice of her said mistress from her. But well and faithfully, honestly and obediently shall bear and hold herself both in words and deeds toward her said mistress and all hers, as a good and faithful apprentice ought to bear, and hold herself according to the usage and custom of the kingdom of Ontier during all the said term. And the said Eleanor, the said Emma of Compton, her apprentice in her art, which she uses by the best and most excellent means that she knows or can, shall diligently teach, treat, and instruct, or cause to be instructed by others, punishing in due manner. <laughs> and also shall find the same apprentice sufficient victuals and apparel linen and wool caps 
shoes, and lodging, and all other necessaries <laughs> during all the said term, as is fitting to be found. Such an apprentice of that art, according to the custom of the said kingdom. And for the fidelity of the said apprentice, and that all, and singular, and the aforesaid covenants on her part shall be well, and faithfully kept, fulfilled, and observed in all things as is aforesaid, Emma of Compton, citizen and weaver of the barony of Aquaterra, shall be pledged and main partner, binding herself, her heirs, and her executors. For by these present, and the said apprentice binds herself firmly, and all her goods, present and future, wherever they may be found. In witness whereof the aforesaid parties, together with the aforenamed, pledge to these indentures, interchangeably have put their hand and seals, given at the barony of Aquaterra on the feast of Good Yule in the first year aforesaid, being the third day of December, Anno Societatis 50, being 2016 Gregorian. Yay. Huzzah! Yeah. 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 Now I have some things which are part, of, I consider part of it. Not everyone does this sort of uh, moraling, but or I, oh, excuse me, moraling. Moraling. I'm getting a little myself. premature. Give <laughs> her uh, six months at least. At least. <laughs> I have a token for you to wear. Mm. This is emeralds and pearls, and genuine emeralds and genuine pearls, because I consider all of my apprentices jewels. And normally in this kingdom, people wear green belts. I hate the green belt. <laughs> it never went with anything. <laughs> so this was made by your grand laurel, Mr. Sheen. I think she might actually be able to pull off the green belt. Oh. Mm, maybe. She could pull off the green belt, but I hate them. They're only good to beat her. Hey, if I can pull off the green belt, anyone can pull off the green belt. Uh, she's never given me a reason yet to beat her. <laughs> but I do have a green belt for beating, if necessary. <laughs> Punishment was written into the contract there. All right, so this is your emblem so that everyone will know that you are my apprentice. And hopefully this will be something that you can wear for a long time. For your first year's payment, I have two coins here, which are from Aquaterra, which were made by the Kingdom Moneyers Guild. So that's for your first year's pay. <laughs> As you are a weaver, Ooh. here is some hand dyed silk that I've dyed with indigo for you to play with. Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and here is for your clothing allowance. There's the six yards of the <laughs> And last but not least, because this is all about research and scholarship, this is parchment and a quill for your scholarship. Thank you. Nice. And I only have one small That's okay. <laughs> Oh, in my corona color. Or my color. Thank you. 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 Thank you.